My name is Theo Berman. We're in Lincoln City at Nell Scott Reef, and I am training and testing for my big wave project. The objective is to surf, uh, well, really the biggest wave that's ever been surfed in a kayak, but out in the ocean. My whole career has been an evolution of testing myself in different ways. When I got into the sport of kayaking, it was all about pushing the extreme end of the sport, and after setting three world records, including the highest waterfall I ever kayaked, I was looking for a new challenge. My kayaking career is in the whitewater department, not the ocean department. And I got to a point where I'd accomplished everything I wanted in my sport, so I knew I needed something new. I needed something that, that inspired me. And I've always admired what big wave surfers can do, and it got me thinking, I wonder how it would work if I had a kayak and actually tried to surf those waves. And that's how it all began. I've heard some of the big wave surfers say waves are hitting 50 feet, maybe even bigger today. Uh, although from the house with my fingernail test, they didn't look any bigger than my fingernail. But I'm sure when I'm out there, they're gonna be gnarly. I can't wait to see it. I came out to watch the Big Wave Classic and to support one of our big wave surfers, Jamie Sterling, but also to gather knowledge for what I'm getting ready to do. You gotta have 100% commitment when you're surfing big waves. It's all about commitment, attitude, and balls. To come out and just hang out and watch us compete and how we drive our jet skis, kind of go with the flow, just like a river, just like he's used to. He's used to kayaking down rivers, and that's the same thing that what waves are gonna do. They're gonna push you forward. are big, accidents happen, equipment breaks. I got on my first big wave and in that moment I realized that this is why I wanted to surf big waves. It's really about the challenge. I knew after yesterday there was no way I was gonna get pounded worse than I did, and I just couldn't wait to get in the water. I mean, I'm definitely ready to turn up the knob and, and get on some bigger waves. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. We're out at Nailscott Reef. My project's been three years in the making, and it's finally time. The waves should be, uh, with any luck, 40-foot faces today, and I'm gonna test out my new kayak. out of my kayak in well over 10 years. I just cut a little too deep. I knew I was gonna get hit, and at that point, when I'm getting ragdolled end over end, I realize how significant you are out there. If I left here knowing that I was just carving down the waves and I never got to feel just the raw power of the ocean, it wouldn't quite feel complete.
finally today at Nell Scott, I accomplished the goal that I'd set for myself three years ago. Now that I've done that, I've been asking myself, well, what's next? What do I have to motivate me, a new challenge in the sport? And I haven't come up with one. So I've decided that uh, this is my last project. I'm retiring from paddling.